in this section, we're going to be setting up our deployment keys for both our Android and iOS app to be configurable with Code Push. To get started, navigate to the App Center account. Within your App Center, we're going to start with iOS. Navigate down into your iOS app. If you remember correctly, on the left hand side, you'll see the Distribute section. Click it once and it'll enable this right arrow. Click that right arrow and navigate down to the Code Push section. This is probably what you will see. If you see a Create Standard Deployments button, go ahead and click that. And this will enable some UI up here on the top right. If you see this wrench, go ahead and click on it. And this is going to show you your current deployment keys. By default, you have a production and staging deployment key. Go ahead and copy your production deployment key. Now navigate into Xcode. In Xcode, we're going to want to find the info.plist file. That is located under our root directory right here. So open that up. And we're going to add a new key called code push deployment key. So click a plus symbol on any line. That's going to create a new line down here and type in in camel case code push deployment key. On the right for the value, paste in that deployment key that you just copied and press enter. Now, now your deployment key is set up with iOS. Now let's do Android. So in the App Center, navigate back. Now navigate down into your Android app. Go to the Code Push section. Do the same thing you did for iOS. So click on Create Center Deployments. Hit the top right and copy that production key. Now open up your code editor. Let's go into the Android directory, navigate down to app, go into SRC, main, java, com, and then whatever our app is, and open up the main application.java file. If you remember correctly, we have this line here called new code push and then a constructor argument. Instead of the first parameter being new deployment key here, replace what's on the inner quote and paste in our deployment key. Go ahead and save and exit the file. And now our code push configuration should be good to go for both iOS and Android. Now, next time, when our app opens up, it'll go and look in the Microsoft Code Push server to see if there's an update with the prod deployment key.